Let's uh, talk about Israel and Gaza. We've had uh, Penny Wong wandering around, Anthony Albanese, they're all uh, busily attacking Israel, as, as is their preference. Uh, let's go to speak to someone who actually knows what is going on in Israel, uh, someone who has experienced there on the ground, and that is, of course, Colonel Richard Kemp. Richard, great to see you as always. It will come as no surprise to you that we had um, Penny Wong, uh, our Labour uh, Foreign Minister, and Anthony Albanese desperately calling for ceasefires, criticising uh, criticizing the, um, uh, the IDF. Now, yes, of course, it is a tragedy that the seven, including one Australian uh, aid workers, were killed. Uh, you know from your experience in war this happens. Uh, but tell us, what is the danger now for Israel with this kind of constant pressure now for ceasefires and blaming, blaming Israel rather than Hamas, who should wear the blame for the death, the tragic deaths of the seven aid workers? Richard, your thoughts? We're getting the same noises over here, Owen, in, uh, in London about uh, things like arms embargoes and trying to force Israel to stop fighting. This is beginning to take shape over here, particularly after this tragic incident. But the, the, effect, the, the effect really is going to be minimal in relation to Israel directly, uh, unless the United States really turns on Israel and, uh, and ceases to supply Israel with not only arms and ammunition, but also the political support that it needs. And, and the effect that has, OK, it will have an effect on Israel. Israel will still be able to fight if it chooses to defy the US. But the effect all of this noise has coming from Australia, from the UK, from the US and other countries is to strengthen Hamas. It gives mm. encouragement. It, it, uh, it, it, you know, Hamas is on its last legs in some respects, and it certainly will be once the IDF go into Rafa in the south. But meanwhile, they're getting courage. They're getting uh, effectively. They're being. They are being encouraged by these uh, people in our countries to to fight on and fight harder. And even Hassan Nasrallah, the head of Hezbollah, which is the terrorist organisation that threatens Israel from Lebanon, he said today, I think it was, that he's optimistic this war is going to end soon in Gaza because of all the international pressure. This is the kind of this is the kind of empowerment that these uninformed noises give to uh, Israel's enemies.